This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system. Here we are again. Man, oh man, it is chapter number five. Tell you what, big success last week. Our biggest, most viewed episode yet. Uh, congratulations to you, man. Hey, thanks to them, right? I'm, I'm anxious to hear. We got a lot going on tonight. Of course, we got, we're going to kick this show off with fan emails. Exciting times. I'm, I'm anxious to hear what I, they've got to say. I haven't... I haven't seen them yet. We had our assistant uh, get cards ready. We're going to read them as they come on, so I'm anxious to hear what the fans have to say. Uh, from there, of course, uh, the real big news of the day is we have neighbor John live on the show. He's been indefinitely suspended. Uh, Braden Elliott would like to have him come back. I'm not sure where we come out on this yet, but let's, uh, before you get one. Get, get, get that stuff out of here, all right? That, that senseless dribble, that hog wash. You know, we're all about exclusive professional wrestling content here at Imagine Wrestling Live from the Dojo. And we have got a wrestling exclusive tonight because here in the Dojo, odds going to meet peculiar. Strange is going to meet weird. Crazy's going to meet nuts. And for the very first time, the Enigma Lucio DeVere is going to meet the sideshow psycho Malachi Gage right there in that ring. I'm really excited because here's... One thing that I've noticed about both of these individuals, they both have their respective boxes of magical mind tricks, you know, the whole, that sort of BS, that thing. Okay. They got that. <clears throat> both of them got that covered. Yeah. There's one big question in this match, Kato, and we're going to find out the answer tonight. Malachi Gage, within the first two years of his professional wrestling career, he has a spryness. He has a stamina that the battle-worn body of Lucio DeVere might not be able to contend with. But, battle worn. But, mm -hmm. those scars that he possesses, well, they might just be the, the, the seasoning of experience that it's going to take for him to show up the sideshow psycho tonight. I'm going to tell you this I'm, I'm extremely excited. They're going to eat each other's souls. Like the, the Hellraiser movie, you know, the flick? No, I've never seen it. it. it they're going to tear <clears throat> each other's souls apart if they okay, don't tear right. the dojo yep. apart first. Great. Hey, excited. I, you're excited about that. I am beyond excited about these emails, man. I cannot wait to see them. Can you, uh, can you bring those in? You My care what time. these people think anyways. I care, man. This is important. This is the lifeblood of Imagine Wrestling, our fans. But they don't turn in to hear this nonsense from these guys. We're the orators of wrestling. We're the analysis. All right. Hey, whatever. So this one came in from Kelsey. Why should John Ross apologize? If anyone should, it should be Braden. He admitted... What he did was on purpose, and he, sh and he was held responsible. Was he re held responsible for his actions? No. You're going to give him a title match. Real professional. Mr. Ross was righteously outraged at this injustice. Sought out his own brand of revenge when imagined administration failed to do so themselves. And when did you suspend him? While we're at it, perhaps Cato, me should apologize for showing favoritism over Braden. <laughs> now her, very, I like. Very scathing. Hey, uh, you know, we're going to get into this. I, I have some, uh, I've had a week to reflect on this. All right. And, uh, yeah, we're going to reflect on it. Great email. I appreciate it, What's Kelsey. her name? Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah. I like you, Kelsey. See, they're not mm. all worthless. All right. Uh, you know, fair enough. I, I, I am willing to take my lumps. Second email here. This is from uh, Bob in Tyrone. It says, Dear Cato, I've really enjoyed the past four weeks of programming. On a side note, I hope you fix the sound issues. I hope we have. It sounds like, uh, it seems like we got new equipment. And uh, your new co-host seems like a huge dweeb, and I hate his punchable face. What's that guy's name? Bob and Tyrone. Bob and Tyrone, you mean the guy who was almost afraid to send an email because he looked at his magic eight ball and it said, Outlook, not good, moron. Okay, all right. The eight ball, the one you shake yeah, and tell I, I the future. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's like TikTok, but <clears throat> not as advanced technologically. All right. Well, this one, uh, this one came from Dave, Dave W. in Altoona. 
It says, uh, when will we see Spencer Slade, Bill Collier, and Chris LaRusso on the show? They are some of my favorites. To be honest, though, I'd rather see dog crap on my screen than that dog-faced dweeb D.C. Bentley on the show. Boy, you're very scathing about D.C. Bentley. I, I take a lot of, you know what, I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it, Dave. I'm not going to let you get my pressure up. Dave W. Get my hypertension kicking. Get me angry. Take a minute. Dave W. in Altoona, huh? All right, that's, uh, uh, yeah, but it wasn't very nice. This one came in <clears throat> from uh, Jimmy the High Flying Hippie. It says, uh, Thomas Mathis, I'm going to pile drive you on your greasy head. See you the 19th, pig. He's angry, that Jimmy the High Flying Hippie. He's going to check that anger or he's going to have two opponents to contend with, his own anger and the absolute. And I don't know. I think one-on-ones is about as good as he's got. Hmm. Pig. That's something else. And what he's not a pig. Here? He's right. a very lean, healthy man. This one's, uh, this one's from Robert. Doesn't say where from, though. I'm not sure. It says, hey, what is wrong with that short guy's face? He has all the charm of a buck teeth piranha. You know, I, I, think, I, I think I know what this is. I think this is a tit for tat thing. I said at the show, what's 20 feet long, smells of pee pee, and has 10 teeth? The front row at an Imagine Wrestling show, and I don't take that back. I think this is a tit for tat. I said that. This is tit for tat for that. Hey, look, I could do this all day because if there's anything I love, it's tits for tat. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, uh, what, are we, what are we doing here? What's going on? All right. This one came from, uh, this one came from Bradley. He uh, dubbed himself the loudmouth from ringside. First question, where did you get that big tooth referee that can't count? Come on now, Ronnie's our, Ronnie's our lead referee. That's, that seems unnecessary. He's a, he's a great referee. He looks like a Coke can opener. Second, where did you find the whining commentary commentator with, with the fat rolls? Is that you? I don't, I, you know, I don't think so. You know, Abraham, he, he was out on the show for a little while. I think maybe he put on some weight, but we shouldn't pick on All Abraham. Right. Huh. You know, he's on the mend. Uh, last one is, uh, more serious. When are we going to see more female wrestling? Uh, great question. I know we had some, some females, uh, prepared and then, uh, Governor Wolf decided that the coronavirus was, uh, going to shut us down. And, uh, so we do plan on bringing the women back. Good question. I agree. We, uh, we could Good use question. a little flair of femininity, you know? Sure. Well, we don't have enough with you. Hey, uh, uh, well, Okay. All right. This one, know. this one came in from Kim Chi. It says, I'm a world traveler. That's all. If I'm a world traveler, Kim Chi. Kim Chi, the world traveler. I don't know how he gets through an airport looking like Steve Irwin at a Mardi Gras party, but keep traveling the world, Kim Chi. All right. Two more to go here. Two more to go. Aaron King, uh, of course, is uh, maybe more well known as the, the sound guy at Imagine Wrestling. He, he asked, what becomes of the old title belt when a new one is introduced? I, I don't want to tell you, but... Uh, Kim Chi sold it on the black market. Jesus, I wonder what he got for it. I don't know. Last question. Batwing. Okay, I don't even know if I can read this one. Where did this one come from? Uh, the last question here. The new co-host, DC Bentley, is so funny. When I see him on my screen, I just laugh and laugh. That, that's why it troubles me when I hear of his recent developed AIDS. AIDS of the face. This last sentence. Uh, go, go F yourself, Bentley. You, another curse word. You know, I, I think I know where that email came from. That email came from you, Kato. You're nothing but a, a, a fiery red-haired, loud cackling antagonist. You're like, you're like the Woody Woodpecker of wrestling. <laughs> you ever do that? You ever do that in a man's face when you humiliate him? I don't like this segment. People's opinions are stupid. They I, could use I a Likert scale to measure their IQ. All they need is numbers between 1 and 10. I don't know. I really like that. I thought the fans were very insightful. They had a lot to add to the show. I appreciate all you guys. That was really good stuff, man. Let's, uh, let's keep that going. Let's make that a regular segment. I think they're a bunch of lawn-dwelling trailer gypsies. That's what I think they are. Oh, okay. 
What, what part of the lawn? The backyard? The part where you go to congregate to drink old Milwaukee and put Winston's out on each other's thighs. All right, that's weird, but let's, uh, that's a we let's try to transition out of that. What are we doing here? I'm from Claysburg. <clears throat> well, Bulls Creek area. Yep. Uh huh. All right. So, uh, well, that's uh, boy. I appreciate all that. Let's let's jump in. This is uh, this is the part that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. Let's uh, let's introduce him here. He's been on indefinite suspension. Let's go ahead and bring him in right now. He is the good neighbor, John Ross. Come on in, John. I see you brought your uh, you brought your uh, your luggage here. Let's go ahead and turn the microphone. In. You got to. What, what's you got some ginger ale with you? I do actually. Um, I recently switched to a, a new brand. I think DC mentioned it last time. It's uh, Reeds. You know, I still do the occasional uh, Canada Dry, but I, as, as a good neighbor, I like to support small businesses. Mm -hmm. and, and Reeds is uh, they use all natural ginger ale. So cool. Um, yeah, yeah. See that supporting yeah. the interests of local business. You know, uh, uh, stimulating yeah. the local economy. He is a good neighbor, this and, fella. Yeah, and that's actually why I decided to come here today. I mean, I, I really questioned whether I should show up today, but, you know. Well, I do appreciate. But uh, um, I imagine was lost without me. So. It took a few calls for you to get to return yeah. my call, so yeah. I do appreciate you returning my call and deciding to appear here tonight. I will say, um, you know, I've had a lot of time to think about things, and I've had some time to think. I see you got some stuff here. You got some luggage here. You got your thing, so yeah. why don't instead of me talking about what I've got to say, what do you what's what do you have here? What is all this? Well, uh, I've been writing the book on being the good neighbor. I mean, this one's kind of rough around the edges still. It's uh, you know it's a work in progress. It's uh, the good neighbor handbook. Um, I have the ginger ale. Uh, you know, of course, I can find the zipper here. He has to forgive you for not returning your calls, Kato. He hasn't been able to talk. He's got a broken jaw, oh, I you know? See, well, I, I know you want me to apologize at the show, and uh, I give my word right now that I will be at the show, and I will sincerely offer an apology Don't to, you do to, it. To, to the fans. Because uh, I realized that, and it, it's in my book, that I do need to set the example of being a good neighbor. And it's, you know, maybe it's not the fans' fault that uh, they haven't had the example they need. Uh, so I'm going to come back and do that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's back up here. So the example they need is uh, going into business for yourself and breaking a guy's arm? Well, that was a... Uh... That was an unfair question. That's what, what I say. In what way? Well, you know darn well that the injury that good neighbor John Ross sustained happened first. You can't just discount that with your, your snide, snooty question. Well, I, I think that, you know, regardless of what uh, Braden Elliott says, I think it was an accident. I think, of course, he meant to knock you out. But breaking your jaw, I don't think, was on his mind. Uh, but I do think breaking his arm was on your mind. Am I wrong? I, I mean, I... Uh... I was trying to get him a chair. I, you know what? I, I can't deny it, Cato. Um, I was upset. You know, I. You know, I'm out now. Um, I will be at the show. Unfortunately, uh, the latest reports are that, you know, I, I can't. I'm, I might not be able to wrestle again for several more months. And, uh, you know, thanks to Braden Elliott, uh, he's cast some dark days on Imagine Wrestling without the good neighbor John Ross. And uh, let me tell you, I mean, there, a, lot of, a lot's changed. I went back and watched the show after I, after I got suspended. I got chased away. And unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see the Bill Collier-Spencer Slade match. But some of the comments that I've seen are that, you know, that match epitomized wrestling, you know, much in the way that some of my matches do. And some of the comments that I've seen have said that uh, those two guys, and I'll admit it, I mean, they both look great. They're both great athletes. Those two guys epitomize what a wrestler should look like. And because of my broken jaw, you know, I've lost some weight. I, I haven't been able to hit the gym. Uh, don't worry. You look great. You well, look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, I mean, uh, you know, th I mean, thank you, DC. But, but the fact is, I mean, I don't quite look the way an athlete is supposed to look. And, you know, there was somebody else in wrestling that didn't quite look like the athlete of his day. And uh, that was Dusty Rhodes. 
And John Ross now, unfortunately, I, I, I don't look like the athlete right break, now. Man, are you comparing yourself to Dusty Rhodes? No, as, as a matter of fact, whenever I was out planting my petunias the other day, I realized that by virtue of me being above ground, I'm actually better than Dusty Rhodes all right, right now. All right, I think <laughs> and, and here's the thing. He, I like that. He, he might be a dream, but this is no dream sitting in front of you right now. This is reality. This is John Ross. Making fun of the dead, is that a good neighbor? Uh, hey, I'm not making fun of them. I'm just stating facts. You know, truth and advertising. Public record. Well, and, uh, I don't know. I think I've had enough of this. So this is this is where I come out on all this. I think I I overreacted by suspending you. I think we uh, we uh, I, I perhaps should have uh, suspended Braden Elliott whenever whenever it happened. And I whenever I suspended you. So um, but I think in the best interest of the fans, what the fans want to see is uh, they want to see a conclusion to this. I'm not willing to see you guys fight in the ring ever again, but. I think that uh, the best solution to this is the two of you get in the ring. I'll get in with you. I'll moderate this thing on the 19th. And uh, the two of you are going to stand in front of... Shut up. All right. I like it. Keep going. And you two are going to stand there and apologize to the fans and each other. And we're going to move forward and we're going to move past this. We're not going to have any more of this... this, uh, this, uh, this insanity that's that's that doesn't represent wrestling and especially doesn't represent imagine wrestling okay um is that is that something you're willing to do you know you know what i i do think uh you know as i started to say i mean and unfortunately this i, I do realize this is a show um i am willing to get in the ring and I'll offer some apologies to the fans i do think there are some things that uh i have to say that could better both them and myself in the situation and uh, i'll be there I'll be there to do that. Um, but you're saying that, uh, I mean, you're not interested, you're, you're going to be there to moderate, so I, I need something saying for sure that uh, how do I know Braden Elliott's not going to try to break my jaw again? It won't happen. I'll, I will, you have my word. Okay. And you know me, I'm a man of my word. Okay. So, I mean, we, we have it, have it right now that, that, he, that he's not going to attack me at the show? He or? will not. Okay. He will not. I think uh, we've covered everything. Or I, I do have one more thing before we got cut off. Look how generous this guy is. You got gifts? All right. Hope it's some, some so good neighbor swag. Of faith, I mean, it, uh... Some sort of gesture of good faith, okay? Yeah, well, what do we have here? Uh, hey, all right. Um, well, I, I don't know, Kato. Maybe this one's more your speed. You know, we'll go with that. Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> Little. Wayne's bigger, Kato. <laughs> First time for that, I suppose, right? Um, well, I, I guess that that's all. Thank you, yeah. thank you, neighbor John. Uh, anything else you want to say before I, I please ask you to get the get the hell out of here? Well, um, well, like I said, I am going to be there at the no, show, right. which is what September. Anything new se to say? September nineteenth. Um, I'm not sure if they'll be in in time, but. Uh, been trying to improve the neighborhood by improving how some people dress in the neighborhood, so I may bring some of my shirts, Great. which will be available at the show, and uh, I'll, I'll be there. And I, I hope all of you are there, too, so that you can hear exactly what I have to say to each and every one of you. Great. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you good neighbor time. John. Please uh, see your way out. All right. So there you are. What do you feel? How do you feel? What, what? Do, you think, uh, what do you think about the situation right now? Well, you know, John Ross, good neighbor, always been a straight shooter. But because of the broken jaw, he's been more like quieter, you know what I'm saying? But now, he's talking the talk, he's walking the walk, and he's letting them live rounds fly. I love it. You know, he's right. He was trying to do Braden Elliott a favor, trying to teach him how immature he is. You know, he's really immature. Yeah. I tried to tell him that. He doesn't know how to take feedback. I said, you're really immature. He said, get out of my tree house. Come on, man. Why do you say this stupid stuff for I don't know. Let's uh, exclusive real quick, content. Real quick before we go, we got some uh, some new stuff. Here's uh, these these last two DVDs are now on sale. They they both feature the main event of uh, Bill Collier and Spencer Slade. These DVDs are uh, man. Last one sold out when we brought this um, to the to the uh, volume eleven show. Volume ten sold out, so we will have more of those available. We do want to thank uh, our sponsor for volume twelve. Can you uh, can you get a good shot of this right here? This is Freedom Fireworks over in East Freedom. Uh, we do appreciate them sponsoring Volume 12 on September 19th. This is the moment I know you've been waiting for. Oh, yes. 
And yes. uh, man, I uh, I know I'm I'm kind of excited for it too. You got a 15 year vet against uh, one of the biggest up and coming stars anywhere in independent wrestling. So, hey man, let's uh, let's kick it to the ring. Oh, it's gonna get weird. Let's go ahead. So uh, first, he is from the circus of sickness. He is the side show psycho Malachi. <laughs> Gage. Malachi Gage. All right, man. He's His opponent. The- Do you know where he's from? He's from the other side of your mind. Oh, he is the Enigma. Ah! He's, he's yelling over me. The Enigma, Lucio DeVere. He doesn't know about the finer points of broadcasting, hey, apparently. And I'm giving the thumbs up to our referee, Ronnie. He's a good referee. I don't care what that guy says. Masked up to protect. He can the- count. He can count. They're ready. All right. All right, ding, ding. Here we go. There we oh, go. Oh, starting out hot. Series of... Oh, Ooh. punches him right in the face. That's right. Oh, dares him to punch him back. Trading haymakers early. Stiff forearm. Oh, an exchange. Wow. Look you can hear that. that. Big Locking elbow. Up. Calling out the neighborhood. I don't know if that's a very wise thing to do. Yeah, I, uh, I would agree. He's a big horror movie buff, that Lucio DeVere. You yeah, like the horror is. movie, Kato? No, I hate them. Well, I like to tell little horror movie jokes. I told him, I said, what stinks and rhymes with boo? He said, what? I said you. Oh, geez. All right. I'm sorry. I think uh, I think Lucio DeVere must work at a milk process. Whoa! Event. Did you hear that? That's a smack of flush right there. His, uh, his tights have kind of the smell of a dairy air, you know? I, 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 yeah. Malachi Gage better, uh, pull out one of those mind tricks. Oh, there we go. Whoa. That's how he does it. A chop of his own. I like that. A lot of reason for animosity here, you know, uh. At, in the tag team tournament, mm-hmm. Malachi Gage was able to get the pin on Lucio DeVere, giving him the win and uh, advancing his team to the finals. A little bit of history between these two, huh? Kicks him right in the arm. Malachi Gage, he's very, oh. he's very dexterous. He's got a lot of hand-high coordination. He knows how to juggle. You know how to juggle? I do not. I saw him juggle in the locker room. He asked me if I wanted to try. I said, no, I don't have the balls. Come on, man. I mean, man. for the juggling, you know. Come on, man. For the juggling. Always with the stuff. Always with, hey, you know. Always with the stuff. Oh. Got that, that I think schmutz he had a hand on full his of eye there. Yeah, with paint, schmutz, dirt. Picks him up. Could be a sidewalk slam coming here. It is. Oh, you got all of that there one. There we go. You know, d- despite his uh, stranger appearance, I think Lucio DeVere's legacy is going to be the move set. Oh, he's a big move guy. He has a lot of moves, and, you know, he looks a little strange and peculiar, but that's just so that people really focus on his move set and not his movie star good looks. He's a big move guy. He knows moves. You know how dedicated he was to making himself less appealing so people would focus on his moves? You know what he doesn't have is counters, though. Did you see how hard, did you see how hard he, he got hit in the back there? He did. It's, that's, oh, oh, look at that. And you're that, a noggy. That's, that's a problem. That's, no that's a problem. Column. Tell you what, this has been a great match. Yeah. Both the uh, competitors here showing you exactly uh, the quality of athleticism that we have here at Imagine Wrestling because they are just putting it all out there, man. I love it. Working hard, man. Working real hard. Lucio DeVere's in trouble here. He He's is. in real trouble. Stretched out. Like he's uh, at the gallows. He's in pain. Or maybe that, is that the gallows or the one you just told your head, I think, not your arms? I don't know. I don't ah. know anything about that. Ah, you know. Only ask me wrestling questions. That's all I know about. Here's a wrestling move. Oh, he dumps go. him on his head. All right. They call that the deadlift German. Hey, it, it works. That's from Deutschland. That's what I've been told. Malachi Gage looking real strong right now. He is, but he, he Lucio might, DeVere is in trouble. He might be giving Lucio a little too much time. Now he's back on him. 
The referee's not going to let that stand. That these is the, an illegal hold. These are the things I don't like, man. These are the things I don't like. So much talent, yet wants to take a shortcut. I don't think he got all of that punch. Lucio DeVere fighting back. Not a lot left. Lucio's in real trouble here. I mean, real trouble. I don't know how many fumes he's got left in the tank, but the fumes on his body are wafting over here. You think he stinks like that so blind people can hate his matches too? All right, all right. That's what, enough. What That's happened enough. to my reads? <laughs> it's good. That's what you say when soda is good. If there's one thing I hate, it's ginger ale. It's gross. It's not what I thought it would be. I gotta be honest. This is uh, this my. He better throw a pinfall on there, or a pin on there, or he's not going to win. I don't think old Lucio has much left. What? I thought that might have been it, man. Yeah. He dropped that knee pretty hard. Well, I mean, he, Lucio DeVere getting long in the tooth. I don't know if you saw that salt and pepper in that mohawk. Yes, sir. That's but with age comes experience, my man. Well, but it looks like the, uh, the spryness and stamina of Malachi Gage is not to be discounted. Oh, oh he got out of the way. Speak of He's the out of the way. This and might be his opening. Yeah. This might be the opening he was looking for right here. You were just saying how experience could be what is, uh, dictates the winner of this match. And eerily, here's Lucio back. back up. He blocked a punch. Blocked another one. Oh. oh, that one had a lot on it. Yep. Throwing everything at him right now, Kato. That is a good clothesline. Nothing fancy about that. Oh, oh look at that. He got him. He got him right where you want him he's now. Up. He's got he's all got the fire in the world. This might be it right here. Picks him up for that DVD. Here we go. This is it. This has got to be it. Oh. Is that it? Does he get him? One, two, three. Oh, oh he two. kicked oh. out. That was so close, it looked like three from here. Wow, I tell you what, Malachi Gage working his way up to a corner. Lucio is working his way up to the opposite corner. It really is anybody's fight right now. Oh, and a big close line that rattled him. Oh, good neighbor John Ross grabbing the ankle of Lucio DeVere, causing a distraction so the Malachi Gage fall for the bell. That's gotta be it. That's got to be it. That's got to be a disqualification. Good neighbor John Ross grabbing hold of Lucio DeVere, causing a distraction. That was uh, the psychopathic ride or the, the psychosomatic ride. It's some mental health expression coupled with some carnival ride. Oh, no. A chair. Oh, my. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Ring the bell. Ring. We need to get some help out here. They're dismantling Lucio DeVere. We need to get some help out here. For the love of God, he's broken in half. Oh, my God. There is...